Hello everyone, welcome back to P Academy. So this is a continuation to the video series on that oblique projection. So in the first part, it was more of an introduction of explaining what oblique projection is and the difference between oblique projection and isometric projection. So if you missed that video, can you check the playlist on technical drawing or you check the link um, in the description of this video. So before I proceed, there's something I didn't mention uh, in the introduction to three parts of this video, which is the tools that you mostly use when drawing isometric or even oblique. So I'll be making use of just the set square and the ruler. So if you are using a, a board and you have a T-square, you are also you cannot and you know how to make use of it. I make use of it in drawing isometric, but I won't be doing it here because of the space I'm using. Alright, but with your set square, your ruler, you won't be using um, a protractor. You won't be needing a protractor. That's why the fact that uh, we are going to be in, uh, drawing at an angle of 45. So with your 45 degree set square and even with your um, this is 45. This is 60 and 30. These two and your ruler and then your pencil and you are good to go. So you won't be needing a protractor, but you can have your protractor on the side just to confirm your angles. But if you know how to use these things, uh, you'll be fine. So without wasting more time, let's go into the video proper. So if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, PA Academy, please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. And um, make sure you also check the description of this video. I always leave some helpful link to some resources that I believe will be of help to you. So if you're interested in getting free courses with certification, I, there are links to some of those courses in the description of this video. So do make sure you check them out. Alright, so if you look at these two drawings that I'm having here, they are similar drawings, the same, the same measurements, but the only difference is the angle, the position of the angle. So this is on the right, the 45 degrees on the right here and it's on the left here. So whichever one you are asked to draw, the process is still the same thing, exactly. So I'll just be drawing one of these and then you can take that as a test to draw the second one. So, so let me start with drawing my straight line. I've set my ruler. Okay, so let me see, let me let me pick this, let me pick this, so you can also attempt this on your own. So you can see this is from here to here is 60 millimeter. that is um, 6 mm. So that is 6, 6 mm. So I've taken out the ruler and um, okay, let me see. So I still have my set square in place. So I bring in my 45 degree set square. So, so you also have to know how to position some of this, uh, this set square. So I'm placing it to rest on the other set square. If you are using a T square, to rest on your T square. Alright. So I'll just use a face line first. So, so I'll put it at an angle of 45. So from this point here. So that's why I said you won't be needing your protractor because with your set square, you'll be able to get your 45 degrees. So just make sure it is properly placed at that point. So I'll be using fence line. You might not be able to see it clearly. Uh, I hope you can see it. So from those lines, let me just take the measurements. So the height here is 25 mm, and then the length from here to is uh, on this from here to here is 40 mm. From here to here is 25 mm. 25 mm is same as 2.5. So let me just measure it. So 2.5. This is 2.5. And then 2.5 is here. So let me measure my 4 mm. So 4 mm is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, um, so don't be confused with the way I take my measurements. I know uh, quite a number of people like to take it from the beginning of maybe what they are ruler from zero, but I can just pick it from any point and just count. Uh, whatever measurement I'm taking. Alright, so I haven't done that. So 
So let me just If you are finding value, please kindly click on the subscribe button. So I've done the line uh, past the points, so that's why I'm have to erase that part away. Just making sure that everything is still parallel. So I want to draw this line. So from this point, after setting your uh, your set square, so I come to this part also from this point here. So I just have to slide it on. Maybe on your T-square or whatever you are using as, as your base. So I've measured from here to here to be 4 cm earlier. So let me just see. So I've measured it to be 4 cm. So I don't need to measure from here to here for 4 cm. What I'll just do is I place my T-square in this position. So I move it to this point and I use it to draw the line. So from here, so this is here. So this is already four, four centimeter from here to here. So with that, this height here will also going to be two point five centimeter. Same with this one. All right. So let me just go ahead and measure this. If you have your T square, if you have, and your drawing sheet is properly placed, you can just use your T um, your T square to draw a line across. But let me just measure it from here and get my four centimeter. So this is four. So that's from here. That's one. From here to here is one, two, three, four. Right. So with that, so with that, I've been able to replicate this drawing here. So what is just there is for me to make the drawing itself bold. So let me just make it bold so that you can see it properly. So I've been able to replicate this particular oblique projection, this box in oblique. I've been able to replicate it here. So let me just go ahead and just add the dimensioning. So this is at an angle of 45. And then um, this is 60 millimeter. So from here to here is 60 millimeter. If you are finding value, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any question with any of this uh, video, please just leave them in the comments section. I reply all all question or comments. So this is 40 mm, and then this is 2.5. So. Alright, so I've just successfully replicated this particular one. So just to test your knowledge, you can also try this. But this one, the angle is at the left, at the left. So 45 degrees. So it's the same process. Just try it and then let me know what you are able to achieve at the end of this video. So if you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are yet to subscribe, please subscribe to the channel. And um, if you're interested in free online courses with certification, kindly check the description of this video. There are links to some great courses with uh, certification in the description of this video. Just uh, check them out and uh, you'll be glad you did. So thank you very much and I'll see you all in the next part of this video. I'm going to be showing you how to draw another another one. So we are going to be looking at this. This is what we are going to be looking at in the next part of this video.